Hey everybody, this is a tutorial about the physical features that relate to human settlements. Why do people choose to live where they do? Well, physical features are a big part in that. What is around them that helps them choose a place to live? Well, number one here is fresh water. Fresh water is definitely number one. Whoa, that's a crazy one. All right, so cities can't grow unless they have access to fresh water. People won't survive. Topography is the next big characteristic of an area. It's talking all about how the land is laid out. Do you have gentle rolling hills? Or is it crazy, crazy hellish mountain territory? Okay, if you have crazy hellish mountain territory, are you going to build a city on that? No, sir. No, sir. Let's take a look at this. This is a topographic map. Topographic maps show you, with these little lines, how the land is laid out. If we look here, we have these little brown lines, and some places have large distances between them, and some don't. Each one of these lines is about 100 feet higher. Okay, So from here to here, from here to here, uh, this area right here, all defined by this line, is 100 feet higher then right here. Okay, so somebody painstakingly measured all this stuff and figured out where it was 100 feet and then 200 feet high in elevation. Okay, so if these lines mean 100 feet in elevation, what's that mean that this looks like? This is a crazy hellish mountain spike. Okay, we can't make a city over here. Now, if you really wanted to, you could probably make a city over here. Look, it's nice and gentle. Gentle rolling place. Okay, anyways, I'm wasting time on that. So, uh, flat land for building and farming determines the size of a settlement. It's basically easier, cheaper to build a city on flat land. Um, climate is another big deal because climate determines how much food you can raise for a population and whether people like it or not. Okay, Large populations can't really be sustained unless plants and animals can be raised to feed them. Okay, let's think of some examples. Antarctica sucks. Sad face. Why? Because you can't raise any crops and you can't raise animals here. What's another place? Oh, the desert. This also sucks big time for human settlement. What are you going to do? Nibble on this one plant, uh, palm tree until it, it dies off? No, there's really nothing here that can support a large population. Obviously, there's water way down there somewhere, but can it support a lot of people? No. This place is confusing. It looks nice and green, very lush. You know, well, not lush, but, uh, but habitable. The problem is, do you see any big trees? Do you even see tall grass? No. 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 Because the soil can't support it. Um, you can actually see that there is a tiny camel here. This miniature little camel, um, well it's not a miniature camel because there's a man who may in actuality be miniature, but this is a man and that is his camel. Camels survive in dry areas. Despite how green this looks right now, this is a dry area that doesn't support lots of plants and lots of animals. While it may look nice, not many people can be supported here. So again, climate and vegetation determine population. Natural resources also are a big deal because people will settle in a place that nobody can settle at just because it has a natural resource in it. Example number one, this is the desert, but people live in this desert. Lots of people live here because there's oil in them thar hills. Okay, they're digging, reaping a natural resource. Okay, people don't normally live in the uh, in the ocean, but oh, if you're on an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, you can do that. Also, if you're a uh, fisherman, you spend most of your time for parts of the year in the water. Well, hopefully not in the water. You die, but on the water. You know what I mean. Now, this is a coal mining area in the mountains of. Hmm, I forget where I got this from. But it's a coal mining area in the mountains. Um, people are brought here because of the vast resources of coal that lie deep within the hills here. Unfortunately, this whole area has been destroyed in the pursuit of that. But people live here 
because they can get money off these natural resources. All right, so uh, that's the big deal on natural resources and the physical features that determine population and human size.